Hey guys, it's Jalen. Welcome or welcome back. I'm here today to share with you my update for Clue Special Painting Edition. This is going up a couple of days late, mainly because I had to wait until Stephanie was able to, you know, comment on my guesses. And then after she did, I just didn't film for a couple of days. Anyway, this is a Fantastic Ladies Collab project and it was created by Stephanie, who is Steph L. 2962. I will link her information down below. And this project is all about Clue, the game board, the movie. And what we're doing is we're rolling in three prompts for each of the three different categories of suspect, weapons, and rooms. Stephanie has a unique solution for each person participating in this project. So it's kind of like you have to whittle down your choices yourself. And so I have so far been able to roll a rule out, excuse me, three out of these six suspects, three out of the six weapons, and three out of the nine rooms. And the way we roll in prompts for this is we roll in a prompt and then we pick a product for it. And then we have to roll dice to determine how many uses we're going to have on that product. Okay, I talked more about the details of this project in the introduction, which I will link in the cards, but now let's go ahead and get started. Let me share with you what I was able to do. I met all my goals in the last month, so I was able to do three guesses. So let's kind of walk through this. For the suspects, I have Mr. Green, a green product or packaging. So I had worked on the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil in Overdrive, and I love this pencil. When I rolled the dice, it had me use this five times, which I did. I love this pencil, it's so pretty. Next suspect is Miss Scarlet, a red product or packaging. So I rolled in the Wet n Wild, what do they call this? Mega Glow Multi Stick in the shade Marigold Round. And the dice had me use this one 10 times. I've done this, I've used this product three times in a row now. I am working on finishing this and that is what is left in here. Oh, now I did use it more than the 10 times, but I kind of stopped because I have another highlighter that's in another project that I'm working on to finish. Anyway, so there is that shade. So I hit my goal on this one. And then the last suspect is Mrs. White, a white product or packaging. And I rolled in the MAC eyeshadow in Blanc type. The card or the dice had me roll this one in for five uses. So I did use it the five times. Now for weapons. So I had three remaining, as I mentioned, the candlestick, a brightening or illuminating product. I have the Clinique Chubby Stick Sculpting Highlight in the shade Hefty Highlight. This is another product I'm working on finishing. And the dice had me use this one nine times. I wish I did, but that is all that's left, you guys. Now, it's not quite to the point where I can call it done because I can still get product off with my finger, but it's close. Next weapon is the knife, a product you use to contour. I rolled in a cream bronzer. This is the Nude Stick All Over Face Bronze Color in the shade Bondi Bay. Here is the product. I actually... So I had this rolled in for nine uses. That's what the dice had me do. I ended up just finishing it because I was so, I mean, I didn't have another bron cream bronzer and a highlighter, so I just finished it. Can you guys believe it? I can't. There is the shade there. So yeah, this one's all done. I met my goal on that. And the last weapon is Wrench, a product you use to fix mishaps. I had pulled in the Milani Pre S Prep set and glow illuminating transparent powder i use this powder to buff all the harsh edges and the dice had me use this nine times and i did so there is the product there all right and then the last grouping is rooms so i had rolled in the ballroom a product you save for special occasions i decided to go with a perfume so i have tom ford's eau de soleil blanc and the dice had me use this one six times. Now I had rolled this in, not last update, but the update before, and I had three uses on it. I did use it three more times, so this is rolling out. Then for lounge, a no makeup makeup product, 
I rolled in a gloss. This is from ColourPop. The shade is Finders Keepers. And the dice had me use this one nine times, which I did. And this is a really lovely gloss. It's a little bit dark, but great for this time of year. I really do like this color and I like the formula. So there's the gloss. And the last room I was working on is Conservatory, a plant themed or plant based product. So I rolled in Makeup Geeks eyeshadow in Petal Pusher. And this is a gorgeous uh, eyeshadow. Uh, the dice had me roll this one in for seven uses. I love this color. It's gorgeous. So yeah, all of my products were able to be rolled out. So now let me share with you the guesses that I made for the month of November. The first guess was Mr. Green with the candlestick in the ballroom. Second guess was Miss Scarlet with the knife in the lounge. And the third guess is Mrs. White with the wrench in the conservatory. So let me share with you Stephanie's response to my guess. It could not have been in the ballroom. Breaking the piñata did not go well, and Mrs. Peacock managed to smash Mr. Brody's disco ball. Broken glass littered the floor, and Mr. Body thought it was best to leave it for the cleaning staff who would be coming in the morning. The guests were escorted out to avoid injury. It could not have been in the lounge. This is for my second guess. This was where Colonel Mustard was sleeping, and everyone thought it was best to leave him alone. The murderer would not have risked him waking and becoming a witness. And for my third guess, it could not have been in the conservatory. The guests have not been, no, I'm sorry. The guests had not been permitted in the conservatory all evening. When the police entered to investigate, they learned why. It seems Mr. Body had acquired a leopard. <laughs> the juvenile cat was not friendly and it is, uh, and it is unlikely that a killer could have entered, committed the crime and left without any physical or emotional scarring. <laughs> I love her explanations. They're fabulous. Okay, so I'm able to roll out all three products that I had, well, all three rooms that I had rolled in the last update. So these three products are going to be set aside and I have to roll in new prompts for three different rooms. Now I still have the same three suspects and the same three knives. We're getting down to the wire. We're getting down to the wire. So let me go through the three prompts and I'm not going to make a ton of changes, but I do have a few. So for our suspects, again, Mr. Green is a grain product or packaging. I'm going to go back to the Urban Decay pencil in overdrive and let me roll the dice and let's see how many uses I have to make on it. Five, five uses on the green eyeliner. Same as last time. The next Suspect is Miss Scarlet, red product or packaging. I'm going to go back to this Wet n Wild highlighter stick because as I mentioned, I am trying to finish this. So last month I had to use it 10 times. How many times will the dice make me use it this month? Nine times, nine times. And for Mrs. White, a pr white product or packaging, whoops, I'm not going to roll back in this eyeshadow. I decided to roll this into another project. So what I decided to roll in is this ColourPop liquid liner. It was in my Day of the Dead project and I still wasn't able to finish it. So I wanna continue to work on this one to finish. So let's see, what how many times do I have to use it? 10 times. Okay, the next section is weapons. So again, I have the three, one, three that I used last time. So for candlestick, a brightening or illuminating product, I am going to roll this back in. Hopefully this time I'll be able to finish it. And that is how much is left as I mentioned. So I will, if I roll a number that's high and I end up finishing this before, like easily accessible product, I will go digging in this one to get the number of uses I need for the project. So let's see, I need to use that product 12 times. So I probably will have to go digging. I don't usually do that, but I will do it for this project. Next prompt is knife, a product you use to contour. Well, I finished the last product I was working on contouring. So I decided to roll in another cream bronzer. This is the Tarte Breezy Cream Bronzer in Seychelles. This is a deluxe size that I have and I, well, I had pan on it. Well, there it is, it's a teeny tiny pan. 
So I'm rolling this one in and we'll see how many uses I have to do on this. And I probably will continue to use this after I hit my usage goal just because I don't have any other bronzers and projects. So yeah, it's a little bit orangey for me right now, but I will, I will make it work. So let's see, I need to use the bronzer eight times. And the last prompt is Wrench, a product you use to fix mishaps. So I did have the Milani setting powder in, but I'm trying to finish well, I'm working on finishing my La Mer powder and I really don't want to like take away from that, even if it's only for a couple uses. So what I decided to do is roll in this Pat McGrath under eye setting powder. That's not what it's called, but the back of this is all rubbed off and in the front of it is rubbed off too. I just, I want to get this one done. I do like this powder quite a bit. This is the transparent powder and it works perfectly fine. I did find, which you'll see in my my empties video coming up, I, I did find one of these in yellow at TJ Maxx. So I'm excited to try that one, but I want to get this one finished. So let's see. The way that I'm currently using this before I move forward and seeing how many uses I need to get on it is I've been using my Hourglass Diffused Light Powder. I use it with a, like a microfiber uh, puff and I press that into after I've done my concealer and then I use this just to kind of follow up and get the rest of the powder off my face like the excess powder off so that's how I'm using this currently let's see I need to use that powder seven times all right, now for the rooms. Now all of these are brand new prompts. I've only done one of these before and it's the first one, haul a base product. I'd previously rolled in the Becca backlight priming filter to fin it or to use, I had to use it seven times. So what I decided to do for the base product is roll this Bobbi Brown corrector in, in light to medium beige. I'm currently using this as a corrector under my eyes every day and I love this product and I have a nice juicy healthy pan. Look at that. So uh, let's see how many uses I need to get on this. I'm really kind of excited about how much progress I've made on that and it would be nice. To, I don't think I'm gonna be able to finish it but we'll get close. Six times. Six times on the Bobbi Brown corrector. I probably should have rolled this in for not the contour no yeah contour and corrector are not the same thing six uses on this <laughs> next room is billiard room a finicky product that works well some days but not others okay this was a little bit of a struggle for me but what i decided to do is roll in an eyeliner this i'm going with the color works well for some days for me but not others it's a little bit of a stretch but it still works with the prompt this is the urban decay 24 7 glide on eye pencil in the shade starfire now i don't wear shades like this very often i usually if i'm going to do brown it's going to be like a deep dark brown almost like a black brown versus this coppery color but i can make this work now because i am working on the ABH Norvina palette and really what's left in there is warm shades. So I feel like I can get some good use on this over the next several weeks or a couple of months while I finish that. So let's see, I need to use the pencil and Starfire four times. That's good. The last room I have is Study, a skincare product. I decided to go with this cleansing oil from May Lindstrom Skin. This is the Pendulum Potion. I did use this for the first time this morning. It's beautiful. It's a complete cleansing oil. It's lovely. So let's see how many times I need to use that. Nine times. All right, guys, that is everything for this project. So hopefully I can hit my goals on all these and we will once again be able to guess three times and hopefully I'll get, I'll start to whittle stuff down. Anyway, that is going to be it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you are doing well and staying safe. Please hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Next. Next. Okay. And the last. Okay. Bye.